Hey everyone, Stuart from Upspec Gaming here. Um, just wanted to do a little video to show you the difference in power draw between the various console systems, going from the oldest we have, which is a PS4 Pro, to the newest, which is the Xbox Series X and the Series S, and then also showing uh, our X screen and, and the power draw on that. So the idea being uh, to show you of the current console generation and, and the end of the last um, what the difference in power draw is and what that means in terms of where you can play it versus whether you can only play it at home or whether you can play it when you're on the go and, and charge off things like um, airline power supplies and in-seat power and things like that. Um, so here goes, here's the PS4 Pro plugged in and running right now. Um, the power draw is different depending on whether you're just running it on the um, operating system on the dashboard or whether you're going to run it uh, a game on it and different games have different power draw. So in this one, um, we've got the dashboard here. The PS4 Pro is using around 72 watts. Uh, and then if we start a game, unfortunately, I don't have the same game on every single system right now. But if we start a game uh, and then I think you'll find once the game actually gets going, it'll go significantly higher above 100. 100 is about where... Um, uh, the seats in airplanes uh, tend to cut out and I suspect seats in trains and other sort of transport options will be similar. So if you're running ab above 100 watts, um, chances are it will not be able to power off uh, um, those sort of in-seat power situations. Okay, so the game's running now and you can see it, it's all the way up to 168 um, watts. So that's, uh, that's more than double what it was at the time when we were just running the dashboard on the PS4 Pro. One seventy two, one seventy three, I think was the peak. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Nintendo Switch in docked mode. Uh, and as you can see just running the OS dashboard, it's using a little over eleven watts. So clearly a, a lot um, lower, which is not surprising given it's a mobile focus system. So let's just run again. Okay, so we're running Mario Kart 8, and as you can see, the um, power drawer is up around 18 watts. Uh, so still just absolutely um, tiny compared to the um, what the PlayStation 4 Pro was doing. I think I've seen it peak at around 18.8, .8, uh, which isn't doing anything for my Mario Kart abilities. Okay, so now we're on the Xbox Series X, uh, and as you can see on the dashboard, it's running at about um, 70 watts. And if I uh, run a game, I'm gonna run Halo. Okay, so I'm in the Halo campaign. As you can see, it, it's running about 150, a, a little bit less than the um, PS4 Pro was uh, when it was in game, uh, which is pretty impressive given the increase in power. Uh, I've seen it go as high as 160, but pretty good. Still, too, uh, still much too much for using on an aeroplane or any sort of public transport, but um, uh, obviously pretty good for the amount of power it's putting out. Okay, so now we're running on the Xbox Series S and you can see at the dashboard here, it's running at about 38 watts. So about half of what the Xbox Series X was running and what the PS4 Pro was running, but still quite a lot higher than um, what the Nintendo Switch runs at because it's mobile focused. So we're just going to run Halo again, um, and we can see the difference. The Xbox Series X peaked at about 155. We'll see what the S does. And one of the things I love most about Xbox's generation is I've just switched between the Series X and the Series S, uh, and I'm picking up my game exactly where I was just playing it on the Series X without having to do anything. Everything's syncing in the background. Uh, I don't have to worry about it at all. It's awesome. Okay, so here I am playing Halo. It's, it's it so is only running at about 71, 72 watts, which is what the Xbox Series X and the PS4 Pro were running at when they were at the dashboard, not even running a game. So that's pretty great. And that means that there should be no problems, and there are no problems, because I've tried it, playing the Xbox Series S on an aeroplane where you're using the in-seat power. Um, so now I'll show you 
with the X screen attached and we can just see if the power draw is, is any different. Okay, so here we are running uh, with the X screen on the Xbox Series S. And what you can see is that it's drawing a bit more power now because it's also powering the screen through the USB. So it's drawing uh, 33 versus I think before it was about 28. So it's drawing an extra five watts just sitting here. I've got it on uh, high brightness, so um, that feels about right. So if we run Halo again. Okay, so we're in Halo in the campaign. Same place we were before. Um, and it's running at about 77. So again, about five watts, I think, above where it was before. Uh, which makes about sense. So um, importantly, again, we're under kind of 100 watts, which is where we think generally it's okay to play on airplanes and, and things like that, uh, which we've tested out ourselves. And um, it means the X screen plus Xbox Series S is, a, is an awesome full powered solution if you want to use it when you're traveling. So now hopefully uh, you understand why we created the x -Stream, and uh, now you can enjoy some of our gameplay on Halo. If this video has been helpful uh, and you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to support us. Thank you.